From the heart of downtown Kokomo, I'm April Thatcher, and you are watching News Brief. Here are your latest headlines. Kokomo's jobless rate dropped to its lowest level since November 2000, as the city's unemployment rate decreased to 4.6 percent. The data represents an increase of 280 new jobs during the 12-month evaluation period and shows that Kokomo's unemployment rate is lower than Howard County's rate. Kokomo's unemployment rate is declining at a time when its population is increasing. For the period between 2010 and 2014, Kokomo led Howard County and the adjacent counties in population growth with 230 new residents. This Friday, June 5th, will be a very busy day for Kokomo. The day kicks off with First Friday beginning at 11 o'clock, and this isn't an ordinary First Friday, as it coincides with the 2015 Strawberry Festival. This year, the supplies have been doubled to make sure that everyone gets to enjoy the best strawberry shortcakes around. And for the first time ever, First Friday runs for 12 hours from 11 a.m until 11 p.m. At 7.05, the Kokomo Jackrabbits will play the Terre Haute Rex at Kokomo Municipal Stadium with a throwback to the 50s theme. The Kokomo High School commencement will also be held the same day at 7.30 p.m. at Memorial Gym. Congratulations to the class of 2015. With so many events taking place on the same day, you may be wondering about parking, but we've got you covered with a map of all of the free parking locations nearby. The map can also be found on the City of Kokomo City Hall's Facebook page. Speaking of the Kokomo Jackrabbits, opening day may have been rained out, but that didn't stop the crowds from enjoying a doubleheader on Sunday. The Jackrabbits fell 11-2 to the Danville Dance in the game opener, but switched up the pace in the second game for the win two to zero. Designated hitter and pitcher number three Mark Zimmerman was named Coca-Cola player of the game for his outstanding performances in each game. The Jackrabbits play again on Thursday June 4th against the Terre Haute Rex which is Grandparents Appreciation Day with free milkshakes. Then again Friday June 5th at 7.05 against the Terre Haute Rex with a throwback to the 50s theme. Get your tickets now at KokomoJackrabbits.com. Have you heard about the crossing? We met with Paul Wyman, president of the board, to learn more about this inspiring school. We're joined by Paul Wyman, who is president of the board at the crossing. Do you want to tell us and tell the public what the crossing really is? Sure. You know, the crossing is uh, an incredible, what we like to call a last chance school here in Kokomo. Uh, it's an alternative school where um, our students have found themselves in a very difficult place in life. And some of those uh, difficult situations have been bad choices on their own, and some of it are just certain life circumstances that they find themselves in and maybe have no control over. And so things haven't worked out for them in school, so maybe they've either been dropped out or kicked out of the school system. And so they come here, and what they find is that there's other students that are like them in difficult life circumstances. And then they find an environment and a culture here where we're accepting of that and we want to help these students get their diplomas. We want to show them that people love them and care about them. And what we find is all of a sudden they start having hope again and they start realizing, hey, maybe there really is a better way in life and maybe there really is something after high school. And, and so they come in and they start learning and they start working toward their diploma. They start dreaming again. They start thinking about college and what they want to do after college. And uh, we have some of the most incredible turnaround stories here. If you came in and sat with our students and saw where they were six months ago in life or a year ago in life and where they're at today, uh, it's phenomenal. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's the most incredible and inspirational thing that uh, you experience. Something that sets the crossing apart is their job training program. We're here with Caitlin, who is a production manager for this program. Let's start out by talking about what you guys are actually doing here. You guys are selling boxes with plants in them at the farmer's yes. market. Can you yes. tell us a little bit about that project from, <laughs> from how it starts to the end? Okay, well, um, it all started out, we started splitting firewood. We would go to 
um, customers' houses and cut their trees down. And then once the season was over for that, we started growing succulents and flowers and tomato plants and a whole bunch of different kinds of vegetables. And we set up at a farmer's market every week and we have a goal that we have to reach. And so far we've succeeded at reaching all of our goals. Um, and um, yeah, it's just been a great learning experience just from the farmer's market. We've learned a lot. Okay. And it's not just that you're getting something and selling it. You are actually figuring the cost down to yes. each nail. Yes. And we do inventory. Um, we also make everything from scratch. We uh, make all the boxes. We make all of the plant, the things that we hold the plants in. Um, we make all the containers. We decorate everything. We paint the boxes. You want to tell us a little bit about how you have changed since you've been at the crossing? Yeah, I've changed. I've had an amazing change in my life. Um, well, God put me here for a reason, and all the staff, they have never stopped working with me. They haven't given up on me. And, um, and what are some of the things that you now have instilled in you that... Um, just with my character, I've built my character. I appreciate people more. I can talk with people. I am a leader, a huge leader to a lot of girls, young girls here. And, um, okay. and earlier we talked a little bit about courage that you didn't have before. How has the crossing helped you to gain that? Um, before I would not ever uh, step out in front of a group of people, but they have taught me that my testimony means something and that uh, to share your testimony will make you stronger and it will give other people a chance to, to realize what the wonders of what God has done in my life. And it's not just a story, it's it's meaning, it means something. It's more than a story. Now that the public is becoming more aware of the crossing because it is growing so much, how can they help? Yeah, there's so many opportunities to help here. Um, one of the biggest ways is mentoring. We're always looking for mentors to come in and, and work side by side with our students and, and, and for our mentors to bring their own life experiences in and, and maybe share mistakes they've made in the past and, and, uh, and also share with them the current successes they're having in life and, and mentor a student to get there. Uh, we're always looking for tutors. We're always looking for donations, supplies, those sorts of things. Uh, there's so many ways that people can help out if they just contact us believe me uh, we'll put them to work and and the beauty of people getting involved in our school is this they will get more rewards out of it than what they're putting in uh, our students end up inspiring people because people look and say wow look at this student has turned their life around and it just means so much to you and every time I walk through the doors here I just get inspired I look at these kids and they had every reason to give up and instead they said I'm putting my foot down I'm not giving up and I'm making a change today and that's what I love about coming across. I walk out here inspired and it just makes my day. Okay. Well, thank you so much for speaking you with bet. us and helping us to better understand what well, the crossing is. Thanks for the opportunity to help us get our word out. Thank yeah. you. Kokomo has a new food truck that you may have already seen around town. Angelo's is a local food truck serving authentic Italian food. The menu includes several Italian style sandwiches like the Italian meatball, Italian shredded beef, stromboli, and chicken parmesan. Check them out downtown for First Friday. For daily location updates, check their Facebook or call 765-438-9452. And now, it's time for Now You Know. Join us as we take a look at the history of Kokomo Beach Family Aquatic Center, or, as most of us remember, the seashore. The Kokomo Seashore opened on July 23, 1938, and was funded through President Franklin Roosevelt's New Deal program, the Works Progress Administration. 
The project cost nearly $200,000 and featured a 35-foot sand beach the entire distance around the pool, dance hall, and outdoor tennis court. And they offered ice skating in the winter. Radio shows were even broadcast from the old Kokomo Seashore location back in the 50s. It only cost 10 cents for general admission, 15 cents for people 16 years and older if they used their own swimming suits, and 5 cents to rent a towel, bringing their total to 30 cents. Adults who rented a towel and bathing suit paid a total of 50 cents. After its first 30 days, 17,094 people had attended. The seashore reached the height of popularity in the 60s and 70s when it averaged more than 100,000 visitors per year. In the 1980s, the city invested an additional $350,000 for renovations, mostly due to the deterioration from the liner leaking and losing 80,000 gallons of water per day. In 1999, the year's attendance was a low 33,473. In 2000, a committee was formed to determine the future of the pool. The committee determined that the pool be closed and a new pool be built in the present location. Teardown of the pool began in July of 2001. A contest was held to determine a name for the new facility. After 275 submissions, Kokomo Beach Family Aquatic Center was chosen. The new center opened in June of 2002. It features large water slides, a water playground, play pool, swim lanes, a lazy river, and more. The new pool cost nearly $6 million. The pool averaged 60,000 attendees a day in its first year. A splash pad was added to the facility in 2011 for families with small children. Also, in 2011, the Kokomo Beach received its 500,000th visitor. The beach opens for the weekends on May 23rd and 24th and is open daily May 30th through August 2nd. Open weekends are August 8th and 9th, 15th and 16th, and the 23rd and 24th. Children 23 months and under are free. Kids 2 to 11 are $4, and all ages 12 and older are $5. There is a $1 off all admissions after 4 p.m. So, if you ever wondered about the history of Kokomo Beach Family Aquatic Center, also known as the seashore to most of us, now you know. And now, for your five-day forecast. Tuesday, mainly sunny with a high of 74. Tuesday night, a mostly clear sky with a low of 48. Wednesday, mainly sunny with a high near 80. Wednesday night, clear with a low of 57. Thursday, sunny along with a few afternoon clouds, high of 84. Thursday night, clear to partly cloudy with a low of 61. Friday, scattered thunderstorms with a high of 81. Friday night, variable clouds with showers and scattered thunderstorms. Storms more numerous during the evening, low of 60. Saturday, a few clouds early, otherwise mostly sunny, with a high of 78. Saturday night, a few clouds from time to time, with a low near 55. Thank you for watching News Brief. Be sure to tune into indianatalks.com for more local news on the hour. For KGov2 and the City of Kokomo, I'm April Thatcher, and here is your community calendar.